Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a review of Jack Kirby's Bronze Age Omnibus, brought to us by the DC Universe, DC Comics. I really enjoy the Bronze Age era uh, from the 70s into the 80s, and this is what this covers. This covers different material that Jack Kirby did for DC during the 70s and into the 80s to the mid-80s. And uh, I really was looking forward to getting a copy of this, and it finally came out. So here it is. Here's the cover art. We've got Darkseid, Superman, The Flash, Lex Luthor on there. We've got The Losers, In the Days of the Mob, Atlas, The Spirit World, Sandman, Omak, The Demon, and Cobra. That's all on the cover. It's a nice glossy cover. This is a big book, as you can see. Look how thick that is. Looks like they didn't quite get my uh, inner spine here folded back all the way, so I'm not sure what happened there. Hopefully that's not a big problem. Seems to be okay. Um, here's the spine. That's what it looked like on your shelf. And then here's the back. Now this collects... Issues of In the Days of the Mob 1 through 2, Spirit World number 1, Weird Mystery Tales 1 through 5, The Demon 1 through 16, The Sandman 1 through 6, Omak 1 through 8, Our Fighting Forces 151 to 162, Superpowers Volume 1 number 1 through 5, and Superpowers Volume 2 number 1 through 6. Cover price is $150. Uh, full retail, I would advise getting it from a third party that discounts it rather than from a, a, a retailer who's going to sell this at full retail. Uh, I bought this from In Stock Trades, their uh, comic book distributor retailer online, and they have a lot that they sell of DC and Marvel and assorted other uh, trade paperbacks, omnibuses, Marvel Masterworks, whatever you'd like. They've got a ton of things to choose from. And I got a good price on it. So recommend them. But if you want to use something like Amazon or, or an, another third party, that's up to you. But try and find the best deal you can. Uh, I would not advise paying full retail for it when they are out there available cheaper than that. As you can tell, it's a big book. It's very heavy. I'm going to take the slip cover off. Dust jacket, I mean. I'm talking Blu-rays here. Okay, it's a wraparound cover. There's, it's a Vetrogan the Demon in action. And here's the spine. There's Jack King Kirby smoking a cigar, giving you a grin. And the rest of the picture is on the back. So if I were to open this up and lay it flat on its front, you would see a nice wraparound. But I don't want to do that. Uh, we open it up. We come to the table of contents. And it starts out in 1971. Works its way through the 1970s. And finishes... In 1986. So for those of you that enjoy this era, the 70s into the mid 80s, this is a good volume to have in your collection. And it starts out, as you can tell, with Challengers of the Unknown. The paper stock is really nice. It's glossy. The, uh, the colors really pop. Uh, I think they've gone and, and done a, a restoration of the artwork. I can't believe it looked this good when it was first printed. So I think they've done a, a spectacular job. Now, as you can tell, in the first issues here, it's in the days of the mob, black and white. So you are going to get some black and white issues. I don't know if that bothers anybody. It doesn't bother me but you should know that it does start out with black and white stories. Uh, the first color issue 
is number one issue of Etrigan the Demon, or, or just the Demon. And uh, for those of you who are fans of Etrigan, you'll be pleased to know that it's got Jack Kirby's entire run of the Demon. The paper stock is really nice. It's, it's glossy pages. Very smooth. It doesn't feel cheap. I hate it when I hear the spine crack like that. I know it's natural part of opening the book, but it makes me worry. Uh, full of great Jack Kirby art, which is the reason why you bought this and the reason why I bought this. Here's the Sandman. Progress into OMAC, the One Man Army Corps. Progress into the Losers. If anyone remembers the Losers, it's Our Fighting Forces featuring the Losers. So we get many issues of, of those if you like the DC's World War II action. And then we get first issue special number one. And for those of you who are interested, DC is coming out with a collection of first issue special comics, hardcover, and it will have a run of the first issue specials. I think it's the complete run of them. Uh, my favorite one is first issue special number eight, which is Mike Grell's The Warlord. But that's not in here because this is not a Mike Grell collection. So we're sticking with Jack King Kirby. And here's the Superpowers collection. I had this mini series when I was a kid, really enjoyed it. I'm glad I've got it in this in this volume. Uh, it did not look this good before because you know what? It was printed on newsprint. So they've done a really nice job of restoring this. I'm I'm really happy with it. Uh, I'm I'm just amazed at the, 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 the colors and Jack's artwork. I've I've always enjoyed his art style. So if you like Jack Kirby got a little bit of extras at the end, but not many. If you like Jack Kirby, this is worth a purchase. Um, I, I'm looking forward to digging into it. So try it yourself. If you like it, let me know. And I'll see you next time. See you soon. Bye.